I can't do that for a full minute. Hi guys. So today I will be showing you how to make three unique desserts using only four ingredients. Chocolate, eggs, sugar, and cream cheese. All the recipes will be available on taste.co if you want to try them out for yourself. And finally, if you're one of those people that never seems to have the right ingredients, try the what's in your kitchen feature on the Tasty app. Plug in up to three ingredients and you'll see all the recipes you can make with them. Let's make some desserts. We're starting things off nice and easy with a two ingredient chocolate cake. So I have in front of me some semi-sweet chocolate chips that I'm actually just gonna microwave for about a minute. I can't do that for a full minute. Boom, I'm just gonna mix this all together, get it nice and incorporated. Once that's all set, you can put it aside. Before I proceed, I have to get my eggs ready. I actually need to separate my yolks from my whites. So I'm gonna crack all four of these into a bowl, reach in, scoop the yolk out, slip it back and forth between my fingers until the white comes off, and plop her in and just repeat with the remaining eggs. Put my yolks aside We're using my handy dandy immersion blender, and we're just gonna beat the whites until they form soft peaks. Pull that out, we've got nice, soft, loose peaks. I'm just gonna put these aside and move on to the next step. My chocolate has had a moment to cool, which means I'm ready to start adding my yolks back one by one. So we're just gonna plop them in and mix. And as you stir, this is gonna start to thicken up a lot. That's totally fine, that's what's supposed to happen. Oh yeah. Another one. Oh, this is a fight. Come on, we're almost there, I believe in you. And slurp. Last one. And that is what your chocolate needs to look like for the time being. So I have a large bowl here to which I'm going to add my chocolate. I need to add back my egg whites, but I can't do it all at once. I need to incorporate it about a third of the time and I just need to fold it in. I don't wanna beat all the air that I've developed in my whites out because then my cake won't have any rise. And as you can see, even with this first third, my chocolate is starting to loosen up a lot. Of course, scrape down the edges to make sure every little bit is in there and add the second third. And finally, my last and third. Be patient, don't rush yourself. It's gonna take a little bit of time. So as you can see, my whites and chocolate are combined into this nice, dare I say luscious, chocolate combination. I have a greased parchment lined cake pan here into which I'm going to pour my chocolate. Oh yeah. And just to make things nice, I'm gonna smooth it out to the sides, make sure the whole thing cooks evenly. So my two ingredient cake is finally cool. I'm really excited to see how this turned out. So I'm gonna cut myself a little slice, but just to make it stand out nicely, I've got a little bit of powdered sugar over the top. Let's see how this turned out. Ooh. Now remember, this is a two ingredient chocolate cake, so this isn't exactly what you're used to. To me, it's almost like a chocolate tart or a chocolate brownie. It's soft, but it's a little bit chewy, but it's super, super rich. For two ingredients, this is awesome. This exceeds all of my expectations. We are onto the second recipe, chocolate mousse. So we're gonna take a lot of the learnings from that first recipe and kind of expand them a bit here. So in front of me, you may notice I have a pot with a towel in it. And this is because I'm gonna use it as a quasi double boiler and that's to keep my bowl off indirect heat. So I'm going to start by placing my chocolate in the hot water and we're just gonna stir until the chocolate melts, which should be about three to five minutes. It's handy to have a towel with you just so that you don't burn yourself on the edge of that bowl. And if you can see that, that right there, it's nice melted chocolate. Give that a final stir, take it off the heat. We're gonna take my egg whites and place it in the mixture along with a tablespoon of sugar. I'm just gonna constantly stir this until the temperature reaches 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And you don't want to let these get too hot. You're not trying to cook your eggs all the way through. We're not making scrambled eggs here. We are at 103, 104, we need 140, 137. We're three degrees away. 39, and 40. So I'm just gonna kill the heat and immediately take the bowl off. Now that my eggs are off the heat, we're gonna do like we did in the last recipe, and we're gonna beat these soft beets. And that looks like a soft peak to me. Our burner returns. I'm going to add my four egg yolks, just a little bit of water, and sugar. And I'm just gonna beat this mixture until it's nice and foamy and the temperature reaches about 160 to 170 degrees. And that looks like 160 to me. Kill my heat, and like before, just pull my eggs 
off the heat and set them aside. And I'm gonna add back my melted chocolate to it. It's gonna take a minute to combine. The residual heat's gonna help it melt down. Keep stirring, keep going, be patient on this step. So as you can see, after a little bit of stirring, it starts to come together. It gets really, really nice and glossy. There's almost like a sheen to it. Look at that. Nice and glossy and combined. So I'm gonna add just a little scoop of the egg white and slowly mix that in. I'm just gonna add the remainder of my egg white. As you can see here, it's really, really nicely incorporated. So the texture of this looks great. I'm actually just going to transfer it to a little measuring cup. Pour that in there. So my final step at this point, I'm just gonna pour my mousse mixture into two little ramekins. Look at that. Try and be as even as we can. This one needs a little bit of help. Come on, clean that off because presentation is everything. This is gonna bother me unless I even it out. We're almost done. You just need a little bit more patience. These need to sit in the fridge for about an hour or overnight and I'll see you when they're done. My chocolate mousse is nice and set, which means the only thing I have left to do is try it at this point. Ooh, nice and creamy. Oh my God. I love chocolate mousse. It is one of my all time favorite desserts. This is great, it is so light and fluffy and creamy and chocolatey. It's like eating a chocolate cloud. That's two of my recipes down, but stick around. I have a chocolate cheesecake recipe you want to see. This last recipe is our most show-stopping recipe, a four ingredient cheesecake. So to start, much like the first recipe, we're gonna have to microwave some chocolate. My chocolate is done, but I just wanna add it to a larger bowl. Just gonna make sure everything is incorporated. To that, I'm going to add my room temperature cream cheese. Finally, my sugar. And get your arms ready. We're gonna whisk this all together. Yeah, look at that. That is some thick chocolate right there. It's time to add the egg yolk and mix. And this is where the texture is really gonna start to change. This is gonna get that nice glossy sheen to it. Oh yeah. Check around the sides there. Make sure we got everything off. So as you can see, our chocolate is nice and it falls in ribbons and it's got a beautiful sheen to it. We can set this aside and we're gonna grab our egg whites. I've got my chocolate mixture back. I'm going to fold in my egg white mixture a little bit at a time. I'm just gonna gradually incorporate that. The last of my egg white. And this has some serious volume to it. I'm doing my best not to knock the air out as much as possible. So I'm just gradually folding it in. Today has been an arm workout. Definitely on the sore side. And there you are. That nice liquid gold right there is our cheesecake batter. Set that aside. So I have my greased cake pan here. I am just going to pour my batter into it. Oh yeah, look at that. You really can't ask for anything better. And that be our cheesecake. So you're probably wondering why is this pan in a bigger pan? And that is because in order to help the cheesecake cook, to keep it moist, we need to add boiling water to the outside. So I have my kettle here that I just had boiling. And I'm going to add enough water to be halfway up the side like that. So now that that is done, all we have to do is throw it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes and then let it chill overnight and we've got ourselves a cheesecake. So my cheesecake has been setting overnight. It looks great. I wanna dig in because this looks fantastic. It looks really beautiful for four ingredients. Cut. Oh, wow. And then a little maraschino cherry, just for a little bit of presentation, just to make it look nice. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, wow. It's so airy and so well balanced. I feel like cheesecakes can be a little bit too tart or a little bit too dense, but this is nice and fluffy and nice and delicate. This slaps, this is great. And there you have it, three desserts using only four ingredients. We hit the super simple yet surprisingly rich two ingredient chocolate cake. We had my personal favorite, the fluffy chocolate mousse. And we rounded things out with the decadent show-stopping four ingredient cheesecake. Let me know what you think of the recipes in the comments below. They will all be available on tasty.co. Of course, if you have any suggestions for what you'd wanna see, also let me know in the comments below. Remember to check out the what's in my kitchen feature now on the Tasty app, and until next time, have a good one. Oh, yes!